late for work again. Cereal for the kids, socks, keys, and... Uh, Jesus, I owe you one. I didn't find time to pray today. Hey, hold on a minute. Don't you know that the human heart always seeks prayer, even unconsciously? And if it doesn't find it, it won't have peace. So, it's important to cultivate a love for God that's friendly and affectionate. One might just believe in God and await his help in our difficulty. But, might you truly love our Lord? Does thinking of God soften your heart? Or does he just represent the all-powerful one to whom everything obeys his command? And it is so, eh? But such words are only meaningful when God is above all else in our hearts. And that is what makes us glad. He thinks of you. He loves you with the tender love of a father. It's very special. God could say, Hello, I'm the Most High. Here's a list of my commandments. But he does much more than that. He is near to us to protect us and love us. But seriously, I don't have time to pray. In order to live in a spirit of prayer, it's necessary that love for God awaken your heart. So you're telling me that I should pray to desire to pray? That's right. All right then. Oh dear, powerful and supreme God, help me to. No, no, no. Say it with trust. The Holy Spirit teaches us to say Father, as Jesus did also. Remember that the spirit of prayer allows us to rise above a routine where time is always running short. It helps us to find peace in doing what's necessary and to discover joy in unexpected gifts. Whoa, it really is worth praying, even if I have to go to bed a few minutes late. That's right. I know that time in family life can get tricky, eh? There never seems to be enough of it. But remember, prayer sprouts from listening to Jesus, from reading the gospel daily. You do have a Bible at home, right? You read it as a family and meditate on it with the rosary? Moreover, a heart filled with love for God is able to turn simple thoughts into prayer, even without words. Such love. These gestures from the heart are far more eloquent than words. There's so much to do in the family.